Hey everyone, another What's New for 2023 video. It's Robin again from Man and Machine in the UK, and today we're going to talk about Vault Gateway, which is included in Vault 2023. This is a really exciting uh, new feature for me in Vault 23, mainly because it means that we can connect to a vault when we're not in the office, when we're not on the LAN, without the need to use a VPN connection. The technology is utilizing Autodesk Forge, um, Autodesk's online cloud-based API platform. Um, and this is available inside of Vault 2023. And it's really easy to set up and configure. Um, so there are some if buts and maybes and some, um, some things to be aware of. But generally speaking, head into your Autodesk Data Management Server Console 23, go to Tools, and then come down to Manage Vault Gateway. And then it will load up um, a new dialog box in 2023, allowing you to configure your gateway. Um, mine's already configured, as you can see. But what I'm going to do is essentially delete and re-add this so that you can see the process that we've gone through to get to this point. Um, so first things first, once you're into um, your Vault Gateway, what will happen is it will ask you to link your Vault Gateway to a team. You'll notice at the top, mine says Vault Gateway for Rob Beals and then 2868. That's my Autodesk team. So for any of you that is an Autodesk administrator um, for your Autodesk account, you will be more than aware by now that your users will get assigned a team inside of um, Autodesk account, like so. So inside of my managed Autodesk account, I have under user management a team. Your gateway needs to be assigned to a team. It does that once the first time you run it. Once it's assigned, it's there and it's set up and it won't ask you again. The second thing we need to do in here is configure it. There's two steps to this, only one if you're not using a proxy server, but we'll go through both, op both options. So really straightforward, we just click Configure Gateway. We have two regions based on what um, cloud service you want to connect to. That will depend where you are in the world, absolutely, um, and where the server is versus the clients to get best connectivity. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose the European server in Dublin. I can add any notes that I would like to, so I can say Rob's um, Vault Gateway in here. And then I link this to a service account. This has to be linked to an Autodesk administrator's account that has a license of Vault Pro um, or have, has a license available for Vault. So let's come in and log in as my user and my password. And then once that's logged in, um, that will tell me that that's all good to go. If you get a little red eye over here, you can hover over and it will give you some feedback. It might be that there's no Vault Pro license or, or Vault license available for that particular user. Um, so just check that out, any warnings that it gives you. But generally speaking, that's it. We log in, we hit OK. It will take the region that we've selected and it will attempt to make a connection to the Vault Gateway server. So if we give this a couple of seconds to refresh, we should get a status up here. And it should show whether or not we are connected to that Vault Gateway. Now, if you're behind a proxy server, there is a second um, step that you have to go to to essentially tell the Vault Gateway how it connects through your proxy. And generally speaking, what you'll find is the connection. The first time round, I've done some testing this morning. I only got access to this at 9 a.m. this morning. So... Um, from my testing, the connection can take 15, 20 minutes or so to actually get connected onto the Vault um, uh, work, uh, the Vault um, gateway. You'll notice that you get um, those um, not connected, cannot be resolved prompts. But if you just be patient, let it do its thing, uh, let it connect, it will eventually connect up and be absolutely fine. Um, if you are behind a proxy server, as I say, go into your proxy settings enable proxy with address and the proxy authentication as necessary. I'm not doing that, so I don't need to worry about it. And generally speaking, that's all you need to do with regards to the setup and the configuration. As I say, through my testing, it takes 20 minutes or so for it to get connected and establish the communications. You notice when I first started the video there, it was connected. Now it's not. A couple of pointers. If you just click the help button down here, it opens up the online help. And there's a couple of really important points. So 
under uh, Vault Gateway, if you come down and look at Vault Gateway requirements, you can see that there is a whole raft of requirements that you have to match. Firstly, Vault Gateway will work with Vault clients 2022.1 onwards. For a long time now, Vault server has been backwards compatible, so you don't have to have Vault client 2023, but you must be at least on 2022.1, okay? Moving forward, it will stick with the standard three releases previous as you would expect with Vault. So the example they give, when we get up to Vault 25, it will support 25 and then the three releases previous, which is fantastic. Naturally, it needs a fully migrated Vault Knowledge um, Master database, which will happen as part of your upgrade anyway, which is great. The Autodesk account has to be an account team administrator. I don't know if it needs to be a primary admin or whether it, a secondary admin is fine, but it certainly needs administration rights. The default website is configured um, with HTTP binding on port 80, so default configuration, and the local host IP address has to be 127.0.0.1, so default windows with IP4, or colon colon 1 if you're using IPv6, dependent on which of those protocols that you're using. Um, it needs to be that default setup. Anything away from that, and you will have problems working with Vault Gateway. Other than that, the setup's really, really straightforward. Let's just come and give this another refresh to see if it's kicked into action. I don't think it will. Again, it takes 20 minutes or so from my experience. Um, but what will eventually happen is you will get a connection into the, um, uh, the Vault Gateway. And what that means is when you are connecting into um, Autodesk Vault, you've got some um, additional requirements as a user. So first things first, your user um, passwords must meet a certain criteria to be usable against Vault Gateway. Again, it's all in the help file, so check it out on there if you need to. But generally speaking, the username must have a password that's at least eight characters long, contains at least one number and at least one special character. The details behind that are in the help file. Um, but to log in, once you have a user that's um, got that criteria, you would come in into your login account on here, you would give your username, you would give your, um, your relevant password, and then you would say your server name is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, then the address that it's giving you inside of that Vault Gateway dialog box on the server, okay? So if I just go into Manage Vault Gateway again, this address here, this is where it's trying to connect to. Okay, so that's what you use with a HTTPS address, and that will connect into your Vault Gateway and allow you to connect from your client. Okay, so HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash your Vault Gateway address. The name of your Vault won't work now because mine is uh, is not quite connected. It's still going through those final processes. Hit OK. That will connect you up to the gateway and you will be up and running and you'll be using Vault from a remote location without the need for VPN, which in my mind is absolutely life-changing. Life um, really, really nice piece of functionality from the development team at Dorstess there. So thank you hugely for, for implementing this into Vault. Um, Performance-wise, we've done a few tests this morning. Um, it's a similar performance as you'd get on VPN, maybe not quite as slow. Um, but my thought process is a lot of people are checking this out today. A lot of people are setting this up today. So I suspect the servers are getting a little bit of a kicking. Um, and I do suspect that, that performance will increase and get better over time. Obviously, the server um, Wi-Fi connection or, or wired connection, um, the client connection as well need to be adequate and, and up to speed. But generally speaking, you will be up and running using Autodesk Vault 2023 without the need to use a VPN connection. Um, so yeah, really easy setup, um, works extremely well, um, and comes out of the box in Vault 2023. So yeah, fantastic. Hope that's been useful. Hope you get it set up. Hope it helps your day-to-day -day workflows. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.